Hi everyone, this is the fourth video um, for St. Patty's Day here at home in 2016, March 17th. Um, and I just want to ask you, Jackie, do you have anything to say or, I don't know, I mean, about the readings or anything? I really don't. I'm yeah. just in, I'm just absorbing and listening and being still and uh -huh. appreciating how far you've came. Okay. And you're healing, and you're grieving, and you're admitting what's going on in your world like you always have. And I can't even imagine what you went through. Thank you, Jackie. That's where I'm at. I <sighs> can't even imagine having to walk away from your children and how God brought them back in your life. I can't. I can't even imagine. My breath goes sickening to think of such a thing. Mm -hmm. Those babies came out of your body. They came, yes they did. They're my babies and I'm They're their mother. Babies. Yeah. So that would be very, very heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking and it was heartbreaking, but I knew my God called me out to the desert and so I had to go and so I did go and... Um, You've made a lot of sacrifices. I have made a lot of sacrifices. But you're a survivor. Mm -hmm. I'm a warrior. Yeah. I don't like the word survivor. Because survivor means like I'm still linked to the linked to the problem. But a warrior is different because a warrior stands separate and apart. So, I like that word. Thank you, Jackie. God bless you, child. Well oh my god, look at this. Look at what I opened to. What's that word here? Here, down below. Peace. Oh my god, isn't that weird? I opened this oh my god. I want it be who you are. I opened to be who you are and peace, Jackie. Oh my God, that now that to me is so powerful. That is. All right, thank you, God. Um, wow. I'm going to read this peace reading. And then I think I'll read the other reading that Jackie said to read. And I'm going to leave it at that. So I accidentally opened up the Language of Letting Go book to the subject of peace, you guys. And I'm not making that up. <laughs> right, Jackie? Right. I did it right in front of you. <laughs> I, d I did not do that on purpose, so God, that's a God thing. That's the way I look at that. So the word peace, I'm reading. Anxiety is often our first reaction to conflict, problems, or even our own fears. In those moments, detaching and getting peaceful may seem disloyal or apathetic. We think, if I really care, I'll worry. If this is really important to me, I must stay upset. We convince ourselves that outcomes will be positively affected by the amount of time that we spend worrying. Doesn't work. Our best problem-solving resource is peace. Solutions arise easily and naturally out of a peaceful state. Often fear and anxiety block, situ block solutions. Anxieties give power to the problem, not the solution. It does not help to harbor turmoil. It does not help. Peace is available if we choose it, in spite of chaos and unsolved problems around us. I have enough of those. I don't know about you, Jack, but I know I do. All is well. Things will work out. We can surround ourselves with the resources of the universe. Now that one, i got to repeat as an affirmation for myself. We're here right now. And I'm going to go back to it and say it again. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Yes. Hold on a minute. Peace is available if we choose it. In spite of chaos and unsolved problems around us, all is well. Things will work out. We can surround ourselves with the resources of the universe. Water, earth, a sunset, a walk, a prayer, a friend, like a friend named Jackie. We can relax and let ourselves feel peace. Today I will let go of my need to stay in turmoil. I will cultivate peace and trust that timely solutions and goodness will arise naturally and harmoniously out of the wellspring of, of peace. I will consciously let go and let God. Amen and thanks be to God in the Most Highest. Hi everyone, I'm humbly Anna Anders, the founder of ForGlobalPeace.com and I'm so grateful to be sitting here today uh, not feeling hateful. And sitting here today next to my friend Jackie. Um, and grateful that we did this video today, today together. 
Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> I love you, Jackie. <laughs> She's so cool. You know, I didn't want to read this reading, okay? The language of letting go. When we, when we sat down here, I said, I'm going to read four books. And she said, well, the language of letting go was very powerful, Anna. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't want to read it. I was just being like, I didn't want to reread something she read. For, for this morning's video, but now I'm glad I did. Give me a high five, girl. <laughs> okay, so I want to read Empowering. Thank you, beautiful friend. I love you. I love you. All right. You can, empowering, you can think, you can feel, you can solve your problems, you can take care of yourself. Those words have often benefited me more, the, more than the most profound and elaborate advice. How easy it is to fall into a trap of doubting ourselves and doubting others. When someone tells us about a problem, what is our reaction? Do we believe we need to solve the problem for the person? Do we believe that that person's future rests on our ability to advise him or her? That's standing on shaky ground, not the stuff for which recovery is made of. When someone is struggling through a feeling or a morass of feelings, what is our reaction? The, that the person will never survive that experience, that is not okay for someone to feel, that he or she will never get through this intact. Excuse me. Hi, everyone. I'm humbly, Ann, I'm humbly Anna Anders, um, uh, who's been a hot mess here lately with the basket of her life dumped upside down on the, on the path of life. But, you know, I got to say, uh, the struggle is real. It's not not real. But I have been trying to humbly be so true to myself. The back of the recovery coin says to thy own self be true. It doesn't say to be true to others. It says to thy own self be true. I would only like to ad lib to thy own higher power be true as well. And so humbly that's what I've done here. Um, and my friend Jackie sitting here knows that as well. Do you think that I've been trying to be humbly to thy own self be true here all along? Yes. What percentage do you think like maybe? Oh, what to be like how how them. how good how good have I been for myself with being true to myself Jackie? oh a hundred percent you've been you've been right on it <laughs> you're very blunt mm -hmm. give you're me a kiss okay blunt. thank you God bless you child I needed to hear that hundred percent thing <laughs> just to feed my little humble ego is that okay that is okay <laughs> at least you're willing to ask uh -huh. thank you Jackie all right so let's go back to this a little bit Oh, let's turn off the video. Thank you 